Hello, you all. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sheba, and I'm on here to share a couple of online purchases that I have made with you all um, from Cherry on Top, HSN, and Scrapbook.com. And then I have some items from Alley and In Love Art Shop. But before I get started, I hope that y'all all have a wonderful Labor Day weekend, as always. And I'd like to thank my new and return subscribers for coming back to my channel and watching my videos. So thank you all so much for that. So, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started so this video is not too, too long. i um, going to start with Allie first. So, from Allie, I did order from the uh, DIY Art Bin store. They have uh, brought out some new dyes, so I'm going to share those with you all. Um, but in the package came this organza bag, and it's this real pretty navy blue with these uh, gold foil moons and stars. So, really pretty. So the new dies that I purchased are some Hello Kitty dies. And so I think I'm pretty much set with Hello Kitty dies, you guys, because I got the last ones that I had shared with you all, and now I got these, and seven of these um, that I've seen. There, I think there were probably a couple more, but I didn't get all of them, but I did get seven of the ones that I like. I will always have the link in the description box down below. Um, so if you want to go over and purchase some of these dies, if you've never seen them, you can click on the link and go shopping. So... Um, and also see the picture of what these look like because, of course, they're not put together. But I think this one's like a shopping one. Um, Hello Kitty, and she's got like her little shopping bag. I think this is some baguettes. And then, you know, the pieces to put her together. Now, I like these dies a lot better than the ones that I already have because the other ones that I have, you know, you have to like really paper piece it together. And this one, you do not. This one, you know, when you cut this out, it's a solid piece. All these are solid pieces, and then you paper, <clears throat> then you paper piece it together. So, I really like the, you know, fact of that. So, that's the first one. And then, let me just do it like this. This is the next one. Really cute. And I think this one's like a, it's like a winter theme. I'm not for sure, you guys. Don't quote me on that. But, um, yeah, but this is the next one. It's got the little hat, a little skirt, little key, the bows, and then the other pieces to put her together. This is the next one. Her little dress and her bows. Really cute. The pictures are really pretty online on Alley if you go and take a look at it. And then here's another one. She's got her little skirt right here and then the other pieces to put her together. This is the next one. Again, she got her little skirt and her bows and other pieces to put her together. And I believe this is the first one that I seen when I came across it. And I believe she's sitting on top of top of the bow and something like that. Yeah, I think, but she's on top of the bow. So really pretty. And then the last one, which I think is my favorite and she's taking a bubble bath really really cute so yeah so those are the dyes that i would purchase from um aliexpress and that's actually all of my orders you guys that i have from aliexpress so i don't have anything else coming until i place another order all right then i did order from in love art shop so i finally got the order in for that so let me just go ahead and get them situated Okay, so this is the first one, and this is a real pretty layering flower die. I know you probably can't see it because of that sticker, but it's really pretty. Then I got this camera die with all the pieces to put it together. This is like a like an old paper, a roll paper um, die with the uh, like torn edges. If you can see, and it's got like the, you know, the look of like a rolled old piece of paper. Really cute. This right here is a bag die. So you just cut this out twice and then, you know, put it together. Really pretty. And yes, you guys, I love dies. I really do. I have so many dies. And I know there's a lot of dies that I have not used yet, but... You know, in due time, when that time comes and I see fit for a project that I may be making, then I'll pull my dies out. But 
you know, until then, I know I have them. Um, this is the next one, and this is a postage stem die. So I really like this particular one. I have one that I got from Alley, but when it cuts out, it cuts out the center of the um, postage stamp. So it's just, you just left with like the border of it. And I really don't like that. So this one right here, when it cuts out, it'll cut out the whole image of the uh, die. So yeah, so that's why I got that one. This is like a pocket die. And it's got like the, like the heart shape at the top with the three heart cutouts. And then it's got like the little insert. And it's also the same shape, like a heart shape at the top. And then it has the embossing lines right here. Really cute. This one right here, I've already been using because I've been crafting all day, you guys, all day. I have not went anywhere today because um, I'm trying to get projects done for these challenges that I've entered. And I don't want to be too, too last minute because I've committed myself to three different challenges. So, yeah. So, I want to get those done. So, that's what I've been doing. And that's what I'll probably be doing the whole weekend is just crafting, trying to get these challenges done so I can get them melt out to the ones that I have entered. And, of course, you all know I got my challenge going on. Um, if you're interested in my challenge, I will have that link to that video in the description box down below. It is my birthday giveaway challenge. So, yeah. So, check out that video if you're interested. Okay, getting back to the die. So, yeah. So, I've already used this. And I like this die. It's a, a banner die. And I like it because it's scalloped. And then you also have the layering piece to lay, to lay on top of the die. So, you have the background and you have the layering piece. Really cute. So, I have another one, but it's just a regular um, banner die, and it doesn't have a detail or the stitching like this one does, so I really like this one. And then I finally have a tag die. So I have a lot of different uh, tag dies, but not one like this, just like a regular tag die. So I really do like this, and it's also stitched as well, and then it's got the little hole cut out to like put your uh, ribbon through, so really cute, and it's five pieces and then this right here is a ferris wheel and i think this is so so cute i keep seeing every time i go on in love art shop and i never ordered it so when i place this order i decided to go ahead and order it and i like this one because when you put it together you will use an eyelet and this right here will turn and then this goes in the middle this is a really pretty pretty uh ferris wheel so yes yeah, so i got that and that is from in love art shop Okay, let's move on. Let's move along. Okay. All right, so from HSN, I finally broke down, you guys, and I purchased the mini cinch, mini cinch by We Are Memory Keepers. I've seen a lot of ladies haul this and use it, and I knew I wanted it, but just had to you know find the right time to get it so i finally purchased it it was sold out when i was going to get it at first on hsn and so when i went back on there maybe a couple weeks later it was back in stock so i went ahead and purchased it from hsn and um i do like making many albums i haven't made any in quite some time or embellishment books rather embellishment books and i want to get my hand at making my own uh like book notebook or whatnot using the spiral ring so Yes, yeah, so I got that, and along with that came the 5 8 inch binding wires in black. You get two pieces. So I got those. It also came with the Cinch Designer Book Board, 8 by 8 inches. So get some chipboard pieces. And then also got the 8.5 by 11 inch chipboard pieces, the two in each pack. And along with that, it came with the needle nose wire clippers. So that's what I got from HSN. So I'm just gonna move this to the side. So the rest of this, you guys, is from Cherry on Top. So when I went on to Cherry on Top, they had the uh, Cinch Binding Wires Variety Pack. So you get all these different colors. So there's white, there's teal, there's blue, pink, orange, rose gold, gold, and black. So I got, I think, plenty for right now that's gonna tidy me over until I need more. So yeah, I was happy about that. 
And then I went ahead and purchased um, some more of the collection from uh, Hello, I'm sorry, what's it called? Yeah, Hello Pink Autumn and um, 31, Prima 31. So from Prima 31, I did go ahead and purchase these uh, metal embellishments. So this is the witch's hat and you get five pieces. Cause when I got the collection from Frank Garcia, they was sold out of pretty much all of these metal uh, charms. So I just, when I see it on cherry on top, I went ahead and got it from there. I also got these five metal embellishments and this is the pumpkins, which are really pretty. There's three pink and two black. Really, really pretty. And then I got the four pack of the haunted houses. These are really cute and they have some like this similar on AliExpress. Also the pumpkins. And then I got these eight piece of the witch's cauldron. Super cute. So I was very happy to get those. And then from the collection 31, I also got another pack of the 24 Prima flowers. So now I have two packs of those. And I got another pack of the 35 piece chipboard stickers. I'm pretty sure you all have seen this already. Really cute collection. And then from uh, Hello Pink Autumn, I did get another pack of the uh, 18 piece flowers. And when I ordered this from Frank Garcia, they did not have the uh, Hello Pink Autumn chipboard sticker. So I did go ahead and get two packs from Cherry on top. And that's what they look like. And then you also got the back side. Really, really pretty. So I'm glad to have that to add to my collection. So that is it from that collection, all those collections. And then I did order also from Cherry on Top. I finally broke down, you guys, and ordered the Simple Stories, uh, Simple Vintage Lemon Toys collection. So I was kind of like, do I want it or do I, do I not want it? And so I had it in my cart. I kept moving it to my shopping, uh, to my save, like saving my shopping cart back to, like I was going to purchase it. And then I just kind of, I just was debating if I wanted to get it or not. And then I seen more and more people show this on their channels, you know, sharing projects using this collection. And then of course, my friend, my sis, Lisa, Miss Little Scrappy, she had hauled it. That's who I seen haul it at, uh, when I ever, the first time I ever seen it was when Miss Little Scrappy hauled it. I'm getting tongue tied, you guys, I apologize. So yeah, so here it is. I went ahead and purchased it, I broke down and got it. So first thing, I did get the six by eight paper pad and you get 24 sheets. So I'm gonna go ahead and just share with you all because you know, sometimes, especially my subscribers, they have never seen certain collections. So when I share it, they like, they, they'll leave a comment and say, oh, I've never seen that before. So yeah, so that they're glad that I shared it. So that is the six by eight paper pad. I also got the 41 pieces of the floral bits and that's what they look like. And I love the yellow and the teal colors. And then they also have, you know, with the black, really pretty. This is the uh, 15 self adhesive layered stickers with all the different sayings, really, really pretty. I did get two of the foam stickers and there's 54 stickers in the pack. And I love the big sweet and the happy and the squeeze and the zesty and sunshine. Really pretty. These colors are just so bright and just fun. I probably won't get to use this until next year because you know, I feel like it's more of a summer collection. So yeah, but I'll have it put up for next year. So I did get two of those. And then I also got two of the 41 piece chipboard stickers. And that's what they look like. And there is, I mean, I like the collection because it's, it's really vintage, it really is. And so yeah, just one side. So I got two of the chipboard stickers. And then I also purchased um, the 12 by 12 basic kit for the collection. And it's just in the solid colors, yellow, teal, and white and black. It always makes it easier when you got the 
solid uh, 12 by 12s to go along with the collection because everything matches perfectly. And then I did also pick up some of the 12 by 12 papers. So I think I got two of each one that I liked. So this one is called Easy Peasy. Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. So yeah, so this is a real pretty paper right here. with the yellow butterflies and then this is the reverse really pretty and then let me slide my glue gun is on so i don't want nothing to drip on my glue on my paper okay then i got this one it's called happy thoughts i love the black background with the yellow and the yellow butterflies and flowers and then the, the teal flowers really pretty and then this is the back. Also got this one, which is called Fresh Squeezed. So I got two of those. And it's the teal background with the yellow and like the darker teal butterflies. And then that's the reverse. Yellow and white buffalo check and then this one's called the three by four elements so i did get two of these these are the elements be sweet and be kind ain't that the truth if life gives you lemons make lemonade you make life sweeter and then this is the reverse with all these beautiful lemons on it the color you guys is just beautiful it's just so bright and cherry and summery and yeah really pretty and then i got two of this one which is the journal elements and so this is the black background with the yellow and the teal butterflies and then here are the uh journal elements i like this one right here with the bees around it really pretty this will be a cute uh album really pretty and then i got two of this one which is called be happy the till with the yellow lemons and butterflies and then on the back i love this with the bees and i have seen a lot of people making bee themed projects i didn't get on the bandwagon with that but you know maybe next year and then i got two of this one which is called so sweet really pretty it's all pretty, you guys. I'm glad I got it. I really, I'm happy that I got this collection. And then it's got the white and black buffalo check on the reverse. And this one is the four by four elements. Life is good. Be kind. Sweet lemons. You're the sweetest. Always be yourself. Fresh squeeze. Good thoughts. You make life sweeter. Be kind. Really pretty. So that is the collection. And that's what I purchased from Cherry on Top. And the last thing, you guys. So, I have shared with you all the um, floral bits. But they did not have, at, at Cherry on Top, they did not have the, um, the uh, what they call these, the bits and pieces. So, the floral bits are 41 pieces. The bits and, bits and pieces from scrapbook.com is 60 pieces. So I went on scrapbook.com to see if they had them, and they did. So I purchased these from there. I cannot talk, you guys. What is going on? So that's what's included. So just to show you the difference. Really nice. So since I was on scrapbook.com, I went ahead and seen, searched to see if they had this honeybee stamp uh, die. And I had seen, I uh, was watching one of Jill Norwest's videos. Uh, a couple videos back and he, she has shared this die from honeybee stamps and it's a cookie sheet with a spatula and i thought it was so cute so i had to get it so i went ahead and purchased that from scrapbook.com so here's the cookie sheet and then you got the little cookies and then the spatula so so cute so yes that's gonna be fun for christmas projects for like a bacon project or whatever really nice and then i did get a free gift with purchase which is this uh pops of color and this is in 
rose gold, pearl rose gold. And that's what it looks like. A really pretty color. So you all, that is my haul from these online shops that I wanted to come on here and share with you all. I hope that you all enjoyed my haul. I do want to thank you all so much for watching. Um, again, the links to Allie will be in the description box down below for In Love Art Shop. If I can find those items, I will link them in the description box down below as well. Again, I want to thank you all so much for watching. You all have a great and safe weekend. Happy Labor Day to you all, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye, you guys.